Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, with a quick wrap-up here on the Lagrangian, part three of our videos dealing with the Lagrangian. And in the last video, you saw that the action, which is given by the integral of the Lagrangian with respect to time here, this must be minimized and when that is minimized we win a game that we set up in section one but also you get Newton's laws so here the Lagrangian is given by the difference the kinetic energy minus the potential energy and by minimizing this integral we get Newton's second law so let's look at the Lagrangian the difference of the kinetic and potential energy in general here, one half mv squared minus v of x, the potential energy, and this is in one dimension. We want to see how we can write Newton's law in terms of the derivatives of this L thing. So let's do that. The uh, force is minus the derivative of v with respect to x, and there's no x dependence here, so if you simply take the partial of L with respect to x, you will get what we need. That is the force. For the acceleration, watch this trick. There's no velocity over here, so if I take the partial of L respect to V, I get the two comes down, cancels, I get MV, I get the momentum, and the change of the momentum with respect to time, hey, that's 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 Newton's law. That you set that equal to the force, so we're finished. And if the M is constant, you can pull it out and have MA. So this is a way to write Newton's law in terms of derivatives with the Lagrangian. You set these two equal. So it's the partial of L with respect to x is going to equal ddt of the partial of L with respect to v. The partial of L with respect to x is equal to ddt, the partial of L with respect to v. And this is the force, and this is the mass times acceleration over in here. That's neat. Uh, what's profound about Lagrangian is that with the Lagrangian you see a very sophisticated way to look at the physics in terms of a principle of least action. And that's very profound when physics can be expressed in such an elegant fashion. Uh, here is Newton's notation for the derivative. The x dot is the velocity. And so sometimes you see it written like this. Uh, these are also referred to as the Euler-Lagrange equation and when you have more than one variable you have the Euler-Lagrange equation. So you have x, y, and z and these can be generalized to curvilinear coordinates where your coordinate system may be more convenient to be polar or polar coordinates or in three dimensions uh, cylindrical or spherical and you have versions of these in those coordinate systems also.